All right, welcome back. In this video, you'll learn about something that is a fundamental aspect of just about every programming language, variables. Let's dive in and look at a program that has a variable in it. In a minute, we'll take some time to go over exactly what a variable is and what it does. The variable in this program is called greeting. It has a value, which is hello world. This means that printing greeting is basically the same as printing hello world. Here's another program with a variable. The variable is called my number, and its value is the number 50. Okay, so what is a variable? A variable is something that stores information in a program so that it can be used later. That information can be something like hello world or the number 50. More specifically, a variable has three things, a name, a type, and a value. So let's look at the two variables that we just saw and spell out each of these three characteristics. In the case of the variable greeting, the name of the variable is greeting. The type of the variable is stir, which I'll explain in a second. And the value is hello world in quotes. Note that when you print the variable greeting, you don't put quotes around it. Then we saw a variable whose name was my number, whose type was int, which I'll also explain in a second, and whose value was 50. Okay, so what do these types mean? Stir is short for string. A variable whose type is stir contains text or a sequence of zero or more characters. And these characters can be letters, numbers, punctuation, spaces, whatever you can type on your keyboard. So hello world is an example, ABC123 is an example, or a string can actually have zero characters. Okay, quick digression. Strings can also be surrounded by single quotes in Python. However, in this course, we will use double quotes. Now let's look at the type int. Int is short for integer, and a variable whose type is int contains a number. And that number can be positive, negative, or zero. However, it cannot have a decimal component. So negative 50, zero, and five are all examples of integers. Another type that we haven't seen yet, but we will in future lessons, is float. Float is short for floating point number, and this is basically like an integer, except it does have a decimal component. So negative 3.2, 0.0, or 4.5652 are all examples of floats. Note that the decimal component can be zero. So 0.0, .0 is in fact equal to the integer zero. You can create a new variable or update an existing variable in Python using what's called an assignment statement. This statement has three parts. On the left, you have the name of the variable. On the right, you have the value that you wanna to give to that variable. And in the middle, you just have a single equals sign. Okay, check out this example program in the upper right. Unlike the program that we saw a few slides ago, this program prints the type of the variable greeting rather than the value. You can do this using the type function. The output is class stir in triangle brackets. And this might look a little weird, but the important part is the part inside the single quotes, stir which is in fact the type of the variable greeting. Now we can see the type function being used on the variable my number, and sure enough, the type is int. So that's the basics of variables in Python. In future videos, you'll learn how to do more interesting things with a variable than just print its value or its type.